have this racetrack across the street. It's a dirt course, that, and we have this 110cc child's dirt bike. The last thing I remember when I hit this jump at about 40 miles an hour is feeling the suspension compress and bottom out, and I woke up laying on my side, and I couldn't really move. They were able to do 12 hours worth of surgery two different times to repair my shattered hip. Waking up out of that last surgery was, you will definitely never run again, you'll be lucky if you walk. And the day that really, like, kind of hit me was I came here to race with my friends and I, I, I had paralyzed a large a lot of my muscles in my legs my lower back I own a freaking go-kart track and I can't even drive around it I have some nerve damage and some mild paralysis I got away lucky and it made me realize there's other people that feel like this but there's got to be solutions to this there's got to be something out there there's no way that this could that a racing community there's no way they haven't come up with solutions to this so we did some research and we found there's a system to be able to go on go-karts Wonderful. So I found something that I can do with my hands now. I can break with my hands now. I can strap my legs in and I don't have to worry about all of this stuff that doesn't work anymore. When I was 18, 2005, I got shot in the chest. Someone came in to rob the place that I was at. That put me in the chair from the T3, T4, so basically from the uh, mid chest down. Ended up being in the hospital for a few months and then um, plugged down with life after that, you know. All right, so your first lap will be in like junior speed to get you a little familiar with the car. You know, one of these carts, you're like, I'm never, you don't want to do it. Once you're in it though and you're moving. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that you weren't supposed to drift around the corners. You were supposed to cruise around them. I, the whole time I'm sitting there trying to drift around the corner, you know. I was hanging out with some friends one night, uh, doing some dumb stuff, and I was in the bed of a, a truck, and we got T-boned, and I was thrown from the, the bed of the truck and basically folded in half. I just do what I do with what I got, you know what I mean? If there's something that I can't do, then I can't do it, but, or I'm gonna find a way to do it. And yeah, since my accident, that's the first time I have driven anything. Oh, the car felt great. <laughs> it was nice to get the hang of. Kind of, it works on your wrist when you got skinny hands. <laughs> I was talking to my dad about it, and I'm like, yeah, that sounds like a great thing to go do, especially if it's going to be showing people like, hey, this is something that you guys can do even with if you have an injury. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just helpful. If anything feels uncomfortable, just feel free to stop, man. I, if I was to go back and tell myself, my younger self, what I would want more of is uh, more good memories of doing the stuff that I like doing. Got it. Just have a positive mindset. You know what I mean? And you just don't focus on the bad stuff at all. That's why this is here. We open up a go-kart track to have fun and get people to race. That's why we built this, is so that everybody can have fun and race.